You all know that the selection grid in Graname 3 gives us the possibility to have a more dimensional fixture selection. So it can be up to three dimensional. A highly request in the last software versions was that we have some tools to easily adjust the grid. And now with version 1.8, we get some of those tools. So let's have a look at a selection grid. So I stored a group here, which is our grid, which replicates our 3D or our real life rig. Now with these new tools, we can find it here on the left side of the selection grid window. And we have some tools to adjust our grid now. So first of all, we can transpose the grid. So we can swap it around like this one. So we can transpose whether it should be in the X direction or in the Y direction. Then we have some tools to linearize the grid. So maybe you want to get rid of the more dimensional thing in our fixture selection and you want to linearize this sorted by the fixture ID. So we can use this second tool here and everything will be on the X axis without any dimension in the Y or Z axis anymore. We can also use linearize tools, which says we want to linearize from left to the right or from top to bottom first. So there are different possibilities you can use. Let's bring back our two dimensional grid here because we have some more tools where you can rotate the grid by 90 degrees in the right or left direction. So you can see we rotate the grid completely and you can adjust the grid like this. We also have some more tools here to mirror the, the grid at the X axis or the Y axis. So there are some possibilities to adjust the grid in this direction as well. And we have two more tools which do a center alignment to the grid or compress the grid by removing gaps in X and Y direction. That means especially when you have some fixtures which create gaps in your grid, unnecessary gaps, you can use this tool to compress the grid directly um, using this new tool in the selection grid window. So some tools you can use to adjust your grid selection in the selection grid window. And of course, if you apply the phase, then new, your programmed phaser, your programmed dynamic value, your alignment, color alignment, dimmer alignment, whatever you programmed will be adjusted to the selection grid as well. So you program a phaser or a movement or whatever, you program it once and you can use it in different directions on your selection grid by using these selection grid tools.